Gordon plus 9 volt battery equals a really fast Gordon. Now that we got Gordon upside down, we're going to need to remove two screws that we're holding the battery compartment, the wheels and stuff in place. A uh, small little screwdriver will do. I removed the first screw to take Gordon off by the couple. If you're like me and most other people, the wires were holding the two together and probably snapped a long time ago and your kids have been pushing them around. If they're not, that makes the job much easier. Take off the bottom retainer and make sure you have all the pieces, especially the couples. The wheels will come right off on the bar, which is normal, so be careful not to lose them. Set them aside, you need them later. There are two electrical connections, positive and minus, so make sure you recognize two of them. The red is positive, the blue is negative. The metal connections that hold the battery in place are easy to remove. Just bend it down a little bit. There's a little tab on the bottom. You just need to push in with your screwdriver or something small, and they usually fall right out. This one, the wire broke off one long time ago, so I'm going to replace it. The other one, just once it uh, you pop it out, just undo it and pull it straight through. As you can see, just by removing the battery terminals, the 9-volt battery fits in perfectly with no other modifications. You can buy a 9-volt connector at Radio Shack, or you can recycle one of your old toys that no longer work perhaps from an old walkie-talkie or remote control you no longer use. As you can see, it fits nice and snug. Be sure that the wires are on either side of the hole inside of the couple. We're going to go red to red and black to blue. There's a front and back to the tender. The back is indicated by the buffers. Over front, back. You're going to want to feed the wires through that hole where the metal clip was in on the front side of the tender. Once you have the wires through, also make sure that they are on either side of that center post. And it's always a good idea to match up the red on the red side and the black on the blue side. At this point, you can either twist the wires together, it'll still work the same, or try to get a finished look on there and get some solder, make a solid connection. Now we got the red side done, and do the blue side. With your wires tied together, it's always a good idea to test your electrical connection by putting the battery in and making sure the engine works, because this is a good time to find out if it does or not. While making sure that the wires do not touch, line up the couple with the screw mounting hole. You can also put on some electrical tape to make sure the electrical connections don't touch each other and make it short. With the couple lined up and the wires separated, it's time to put the wheels and axles back on. The bottom cover also has a front and a back side. It is keyed so it only fits in one direction. With the couple lined up, the wires out of the place and the bottom cover on, secure the front screw first. Finally, it's time for the back screw. Don't forget to put the couple in. And that's it. You just upgrade a Gordon to carry a 9 volt battery and go really fast. <laughs> Remember, the electric motor inside the train is designed to operate on a C cell with 1.5 volts. While my kids have had weeks of fun with theirs, upgrade at your own risk.